Congratulations on the purchase of your new RH Mario. You have chosen an exceptional product that is designed to provide you with superior comfort and flexibility for many years to come. Please take a few minutes now to ensure that you get the maximum benefit from your chosen product. Your body will thank you. Before we start, please lock the mechanism somewhere above 90 degrees. It makes it easier to do the adjustments for the first time. You will find the lever that locks and unlocks the tilt mechanism on your left-hand side. Push it in to lock. Another important thing to remember when using any office chair is to sit right back in it. Far too many people perch or slouch on their chair, and this is a common reason for backache. Please ensure that the armrests, if fitted, are tightened and at the right width for you. To adjust the height, simply press the trigger to raise or lower the arms, as shown. You can also rotate the top or slide it backwards and forwards. Your lower arm should be roughly 90 degrees to your upper arm and your shoulders relaxed. The controls on RH Mario are intuitive and designed for ease of use. You can find them on the right side of the chair. The seat height. Simply lift the first lever to activate the seat height adjustment. Try and make sure that your hips are slightly above your knees in order to create an open angle above 90 degrees. Also make sure that your feet are flat to the floor. The correct seat height can help the circulation of blood and oxygen flow and can also help your digestive system to perform better. If you have a desk that is adjustable in height, you should also ensure that this is at the correct height. The seat slide. Push the middle lever forwards or backwards to release the seat slide and set to the correct length for you. Ensure that there is some space between the front edge of the seat and your lower limbs. One or two inches is usually good. Having the correct amount of seat depth helps support your thighs, while at the same time ensuring that your blood supply does not get cut off to lower limbs. The back angle. Lift the third lever to release the independent back angle adjustment and move your back until optimum support is obtained. Then release the lever to lock in place. This adjustment allows you to get the best support and comfort at all times, whether working in an upright or a reclined position. The height of the backrest. Reach behind your chair and push the lever upwards and then use your other hand to raise or lower the backrest. Release the lever to lock when you have obtained the correct back height. The key to correct back height is to be comfortable and to ensure that your lower back in particular is well supported. Try a few different settings until it feels supportive and comfortable. The neck rest. The neck rest, if fitted, is adjustable in height and depth and can be a valuable feature, especially if working in a reclined position. The tilt mechanism. If the tilt mechanism is locked, pull out the lever on your left-hand side to activate the tilt mechanism. When the lever is pulled out, you have to lean backwards to unlock the tilt. This is a safety feature that is used to prevent the tilt mechanism from opening up when no one is sitting in the chair. The tension control is located on the left and controls the resistance of the mechanism. You can adjust the tension by turning the knob forwards to reduce the tension or by turning it backwards to increase the tension. If the chair pushes you forward, you reduce the tension control. If the chair reclines too easily, you simply increase the tension as shown before. When set correctly, you have balanced micro movements giving you more energy. Your chair has an infinite locking mechanism and can therefore be locked in any position. However, there are many good reasons why you shouldn't lock your chair. Movement and variation will increase blood flow and oxygenation to your body, 
and is good for keeping your mind more alert. Please remember, sitting still will get you nowhere. <laughs>